Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn. And when new releases of AutoCAD come out, a lot of people like to revert back to some of the older functionality that was in the program. So toolbars is something that has been around since the early releases, and people have always complained that there's no way you can get to toolbars unless you change your, to your classic workspace. Well, you could, but it was really difficult. You're right. A lot of people that liked using the toolbars would revert back to the classic workspace in order to get the toolbars, but then they'd lose all the benefits of using the ribbon. So what Autodesk has done is now you can actually turn on toolbars really easily inside of AutoCAD even when you're working with the ribbon interface, which I happen to think is the preferred way of working inside of AutoCAD. Let me show you how that works. Okay. I recommend that you use the ribbon. So let's restore the ribbon by switching back to the drafting and annotation workspace. You can also use toolbars in conjunction with the ribbon. When I select the View tab on the ribbon, notice the tool in the Windows palette labeled Toolbars. If I click on this button, I can see a menu showing various types of toolbars that are available. And if I select AutoCAD, the menu expands to show me all of the toolbars available in AutoCAD. I can then toggle any toolbar on by selecting it in the list. Toolbars with check marks adjacent to their name are currently visible. You can then click to toggle on the toolbar that you wish to see. Of course, you can also click the Toolbars button on the View ribbon. If you want to use toolbars in conjunction with the ribbon, I suggest that you get everything arranged to your liking, and then save a custom workspace so that you can easily restore your work environment.